Hey everybody, so today I have for you another video in my exclusively pumping series on my channel. Today I'm just going to be going over the things to put in your hospital bag if you are planning on exclusively pumping. A little bit of background info for any of those of you who may be new to my channel or new to my videos. I am currently 35 weeks pregnant, although you guys will be seeing this when baby is either getting ready to be born or already born so one of those two with our oldest daughter i did not plan on exclusively pumping i was going to do a nursing pumping combo however circumstances led us down the ep road this time around i am choosing to exclusively pump if you want to see more on my decision why i'm choosing to this time i'll leave a video linked down below you guys can check that out for more answers i did want to say that none of this stuff is necessary you know if you're getting an insurance pump and you are going to a breastfeeding friendly hospital you don't really need anything you know they should be able to set up shop for you just fine my hospital is breastfeeding friendly and like I said I had not intended on exclusively pumping with Sophie however I did have to use a pump in the hospital and they were able to supply me with you know things that got me by for five days it's not that big of a deal however Knowing how my pumping experience went in the hospital last time, knowing that I'm going to eventually exclusively pump this time, you know, these are just things that I want to bring with me. First things first, when I was in the hospital with Sophie, I did not like all my stuff being spread out across the table that you can roll up to you. It was just like a mess constantly of things that they either need to take from me or paperwork or food or just there's so much stuff and when you add breastfeeding things to the mix it just gets crazy so I just wanted one bag that I can keep on the table that Mark knows is my breastfeeding bag I know it you know I can just keep everything in one spot and keep it contained so I have everything shoved into this bag this is a Vera Bradley large cosmetic case it had my makeup in it however I just scrubbed it out because it has like a plastic lining inside and I just shoved everything breastfeeding related in here he knows this is the breastfeeding bag and to grab it for me when I'm finally ready to pump so let's go ahead and get started I'm just going to pull things out the way that I pack them in here and how they fit it's by no means of order of importance or anything like that so first thing on top is just this nipple butter I brought this with me for sore nipples because whether you're nursing or pumping, your nipples are going to be sore. It just comes with the breastfeeding game. So you could also break lanolin or anything like that for the sore nipples as well. However, I've used lanolin in the past and it just wasn't my favorite. So that's why I'm going the nipple balm route. But, you know, whatever you may need. Like I said, your hospital may supply lanolin for you. I know mine does. But I just didn't feel like bugging my nurses for a thousand of those little samples again and all that stuff. So I'm just going to bring my own this time. I also do have a little jar of coconut oil. This is just one of those travel pill bottles that I got at Walmart in the travel section for like 98 cents and I just stuffed it full of coconut oil. I'm going to use this to lube my flange up with. Do not lube your flange with the lanolin that you may be bringing or that they give you. That's just too much friction for your nipples. I really suggest bringing some of the coconut oil or I have heard mom say that they do like the bombs for lubing apparently they're not as thick but i haven't tried that but i have pumped with coconut oil before and it felt great to me so that's why i'm bringing it this time the next thing is not a necessity for everybody but since i have exclusively pumped before with sophie i know most of my pumping journey i was a 21 millimeter flange and my hospital could not get me those size i could only get 24 or 27 so this time around i'm bringing my 21 millimeter flange i have sized myself and with being swollen right now these are definitely too small for me i'm probably more of a 24 or 27 however i'm gonna bring these just in case i doubt with my, you know having a c-section that i'm gonna be any less swelled up afterwards but just in case you know my body decides to be all kinds of crazy and i could fit into a 21 i'm gonna bring these just in case i also have valves because i couldn't remember if they gave it to me in like the pumping equipment set. I don't know. I can't remember. I can't remember if I need them or not. So I just threw them in there because they're tiny and they're small. So if this is your first time pumping, you may not need flange because you may not know your flange size, which is perfectly okay. You know, just use what they have for you those first few days in the hospital. It's not that big of a deal, but if I could make myself more comfortable, I'm going to. So as a EP vet, I'm going to bring those with me just in case. 
The next thing I have are these Medela Quick Wipes. I just have these because last time I just rinsed my pump parts out, which was fine and whatever, but I felt like I wanted them to be a little bit more clean. So this time I'm just going to bring these and probably just clean them once a day with these wipes. So got those. And then the next thing I have is my Covered's Good Cover. I always feel weird saying that. If you haven't seen my review on this nursing or pumping cover, I will have that link down below for you guys as well. But I am bringing this so that when I am pumping or even when I'm nursing, whatever it may be, I can just cover up and have a little bit of privacy and not have to have people leave the room. Just to make myself a little bit more comfortable, you know, I just, um, I don't mind pumping in front of certain people, but for most people it's just, it's noisy and it's already drawing attention to myself and I just would rather be more comfortable in front of people. So I'm going to bring my cover. The next thing in here I knew I wanted the second I left the hospital with Sophie, but it is my hands-free pumping bra. I am bringing this because last time around I was pumping so much that I was filling up bottles really quickly and I had to hold the flange on myself while Mark was like switching out bottles underneath me. It was a crazy old mess and I basically couldn't pump unless he was in the room with me. Poor thing had to wake up and pump with me too. So... This time around, he can nap, he can sleep, he can go to the vending machine, he does not need to be by my side if I'm pumping. I can change my own bottles, everything like that. It's just going to make it a thousand times easier, and I'm just so looking forward to this this time around. But that is everything that I have in this little bag to exclusively pump this time around. Like I said, this stuff is not a necessity, but it does make the pumping experience just a little bit better for you, and it may make you a little bit more comfortable, especially after having a baby. If you are expecting a baby soon and you're planning on exclusively pumping and that's the reason why you're watching this video, I just want to say congratulations. I hope your, pump your pumping journey gets off to a great start. Try not to stress about anything and I hope you have a great experience. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video and as always, thanks for watching.